Good afternoon, Kevin Caldwell, uh, Caldwell Tree Care, uh, doing some uh, tips here again today, December the 14th, 2010. We have here some uh, fruiting bodies uh, indicative of some root rock and conks beginning to form here at the base of this pine tree. Uh, I have some history here on the site, but also uh, know that uh, this is not indicative of a healthy tree. We noticed that the canopy of the tree is also beginning to uh, discolor and some defoliation is occurring. If we look to the other side of the tree here, we have uh, some uh, southern uh, or turpentine beetles here actually, and just kind of a general decline of the tree. So we've declared this tree is uh, dead and dying and a hazard, and we actually have experience on this particular site with uh, trees failing because of uh, root damage from construction. So we know that uh, this is a imminent hazard, so we've declared that, and uh, we'll get permission from the city to remove this tree due to the uh, the rotting of the tr uh, the uh, roots, the pine beetles, and then the decline of the tree. So this is something that, as a homeowner, if you notice that you see uh, little uh, pieces on the bark, sometimes referred to as Wrigley's chewing gum or popcorn, this is the turpentine beetle. Uh, where the turpentine beetle has entered the hole into the tree. Not always deadly as a turpentine beetle, but uh, typically is indicative of stress. And then of course, if the fruiting bodies at the base or decline of the canopy, that's something that you should engage an arborist to talk to you about and uh, validate whether in fact you do have a tree that is uh, in need of treatment or in need of removal. It might need uh, only one or the other. So. Uh, just another tip for you to, to look out, particularly for your pine trees.